Hi, my name is Andy Sykes. I'm an award-winning animator and illustrator based in the UK. Welcome to my lessons on Flash CS5. This is my website, hexjibber.com. You can check out my animation, my illustration, my interactive work, and also more of my video tutorials in Flash. Enjoy! Hi, and welcome to my lesson on tracing bitmaps. Hopefully you will have checked out my lesson on vectors and bitmaps, so you'll understand the difference between the two. So here we go, this is our bitmap and this is our vector. You can see that we can edit our vector, I can change the colour if I want, no problem. But I can't do that to my bitmap. So how do we change that? If I click on my bitmap here and go up to the modify menu and go to bitmap, you can see we get two options, swap bitmap and trace bitmap. I'm going to click on trace bitmap and zoom out again. You see I get this dialog box here that says trace bitmap and there's lots of different options and there's a little preview key here. So if I hit preview, let's see what happens to our bitmap image. Right, you can see that it's changed a little bit. It's now converted our image into a vector. And these options here give us more control over what that vector looks like once it's been traced. So at the moment we've got a minimum area of one pixels, so it's picking up a lot of the detail in our bitmap. If we make that more like 10, let's see what that looks like. And you can see that we're getting a lot more simple an image because it's only taking information from every 10 pixels. And let's take a look at the corner threshold here. Uh, at the moment it's on normal, but you can have many corners or few corners. Put it on few, preview it again. We've still got that very simple image. You can change the curve fit from pixels uh, it's very tight, it's on normal at the moment, if we stick it on very smooth, we'll get an even smoother image, you can see that our outline is tapering at the end there because it's super smoothed it, but if I stick it on pixels, we get a lot more fidelity in our trace of this bitmap, it looks pretty much exactly the same as it would, but you can see it's a little bit jagged, so I'm going to stick it on normal. I think I'm going to stick my minimum area back to uh, one pixel and have a very smooth curve fit so we get a relatively smooth image. You can see here we've got the colour threshold. Uh, the higher it is the simpler it will make our trace so if we stick it up to 300 we'll get a really simple trace so we've only really got a few colours. If we stick it on one like so you can see that we, we get a very true to the original trace, but it uses lots of colours instead of just a couple. So I think I'm going to stick my colour threshold up to 300, go to preview, click OK. I'm going to click off my image, and you can see that we've got three separate elements here. We've got black fill, an orange fill, and a white fill, that's our background. I'm going to ditch the white fill, because we don't need it. And now we've got these two fills here. So I'm going to select them both and hit cut and you can see that we've got some artifacts around the edge. I think I'm going to delete those. So now we've got a trace of our object. And obviously when you're using colour it makes tracing a bitmap a bit more complicated. So if you're wanting to say scan a drawing in and use that in flash, I'd recommend that you scan it in in black and white and then bring it into flash and colour it because when you're importing images that already have colour on them it makes it more complicated and more difficult for Flash to trace them. So that's tracing bitmaps in Flash. In my next lesson I'll show you how to use a bitmap as a fill. So try it yourself and I'll see you in the next lesson. Hi, if you enjoyed this lesson why not consider checking out the Hexjibber colouring and activity book on my website hexjibber.com. It's suitable for kids and adults alike and you can get it from Amazon, Play.com and WH Smiths. Cheers.